we're faced with an example that wants us to simplify a rational expression as well as state any restrictions on the variables, values that the variables couldn't be because they would cause the, uh, the expression to evaluate to an undefined value uh, with that. So here we have the rational expression 3x to the third times y uh, divided by 12xy squared. So we, we have a, a quotient of two monomials uh, here to create this rational expression. Um, those monomials contain multiple variables, um, but um, let's take a look at how this simplifies. So the first thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at the uh, numerical factors of the terms. I see 3 and 12. And I say, okay, I can simplify the fraction 3 twelfths. Uh, 3 goes into both 3 and 12 evenly, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, that would produce a 1 in the numerator and a 4 in the denominator. I don't need to put the 1 in the numerator unless, in fact, it ends up being the only thing left in the numerator. Then I would need to put it there to kind of hold the place and indicate that that is the numerator uh, of this. But that's not going to happen here. So now let's go ahead and look at simplifying the uh, variables here. Uh, if I have x to the third over x like that, just using some exponent rules from algebra 1, you subtract their exponents. So uh, I have x to the third over x. I have two more x's on top than I do on the bottom. So that would leave me with x squared like that. And then looking at the y's, I can see I have more y's in the denominator. So that's where the y is going to end up. How many more y's do I have in the denominator? Well, I have one uh, more factor of y in the denominator. This one has an exponent of 2. That one has an exponent of 1. If I subtract them, 2 minus 1 will leave me with 1. Where did I have more of them? That was in the denominator. So that's where that should go. So now let's talk restrictions on variables. There it is already simplified. And now we've got to talk about the restrictions on the variables, the values that x and y are not allowed to be. Um, so if I look back at the original function here, and I say, well, what could x not be? Because it would make this entire denominator equal to 0. And that would, in fact, be 0. Because if x was 0, it doesn't matter what the other stuff is in the denominator. 0 times anything will be 0 uh, with that. So for my restrictions, x cannot equal 0. And since this problem also had another variable in it, it had y, which is also occurring in its denominator, um, there is a value of y that we can't have here because it would also make the denominator equal to 0. If y was 0, 0 squared would be 0. And therefore, this entire denominator would become 0 and would become undefined. So we also have the restriction on the variables here that y cannot be 0. So we've done both things that the directions have asked us to do. We've simplified this rational expression, and we've stated our restrictions on the variables that x cannot be 0 and y also cannot be 0.